today I'm going to buy the plants that are going to sit on that lip around the grill, which is going into the well, just to stop my nieces and nephews falling in, because we wouldn't want that. Also Link and the dog, who is behind the foxgloves there. I wouldn't want to risk him falling in. It's my favourite plant of the season, the foxglove. And it's just picking up. Oh, I've just had a nut hatcher dive on me, so I'm going to have to move. Um, they're still feeding, so I'm going to move on. I don't want to disturb them. Look at this buddlier. Proper, proper. Growing strong. Little geraniums within the rose garden. It's also the season of the roses. And this is my rambling rector. And we talked about this, but I am, as they come along, I am circling them round to try and, there's my wing, not hatcher. Just leave a comment as well below if you want to see Mottis Font um, Rose Gardens. We are going to pop there one evening. We are members of the um, National Trust and the Mottis Font Abbey Rose Garden in Romsey is famous for its roses. It's an absolutely gorgeous building. So, isn't that just a gorgeous companion planting, the colour of the foxglove with the Emily Rose Bronte. I mean that bloom. I was going to do a sniff test so you're going in close. Oh. Go and pop in and see Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth ready to open. There she is, just unfolding. I would like um, a King Charles, and I think the King Charles would sit beautifully here. Um, Hampton Court Flower Show is coming up in about six weeks. Um, and I always order a David Austin rose when I'm at the Hampton Court Flower Show. I join that queue. And this year they are in collaboration with Emma Bridgewater. Um, there is an Emma Bridgewater video posted below. I don't know how to do links. I really should learn that. Um, where I show you my Emma Bridgewater collection. So to me, Emma Bridgewater and David Austin, I think Hampton Court Flower Show could cost me a piece of money. I'm going to show you the paddock. So the foxgloves have come up in the paddock. The grasses are about just under waist height now. And then the electric fence has come out and the ponies are going to start moving their way across this paddock. So in the Peter, I call it poor man's lavender. It flowers far longer than lavender does. It doesn't have the same scent as lavender. But I love the subtlety of the blue of the Nepeta. And we've got it here with the scabious. So the wall around the front of the cottage has taken really well. I'm going to give that a water today. And the two planters and then the hanging baskets. 
looking beautiful and today it's a 20% off day at B&Q and with staff discount gives us some really good discounts so I'm gonna get two more hanging baskets for here. I think this is gonna be the last of the rhododendron. It's fading fast. The weather hasn't helped. It's been really damp and humid. And then the sun comes out and of course the water that sat on the petals burns off. The joy, the, wow. It has been incredible. It's flowered for much longer this time. On Gardener's World, GMs are taking over as one of the most fashionable plants this year. I've loved them for a few good years and I've got a good collection of them in the garden. And here they are backing on to that gorgeous blue of the geranium. I say foxgloves are my favourite. The splendour of the Delphinium. And whilst I'm stood here, I'm bathed in the scent of the Philadelphia smock orange. <sighs> and I have to go to work now. So overnight we've had some heavy rain and it's really lifted the garden. I can see that the roses needed it. Uh, this end drains very well. It's higher, I think I've said this a few times, it's higher than the cottage and higher than the patio. Um, and there is a land drain that we now know it goes from the back of here all the way down into the well. So they really used the well when they had the garden re-landscaped. The previous owners had um, a flooding incident and that's when the level of the garden was changed and I take it that was when the land drain was put in. Um, we haven't found it when we've been digging but that said we haven't dug that deep. I don't like digging too deep. But yeah, everything, I'm getting a little bit wet from the drippy drips. I'm under the shelter of the trees. But everything looks a little bit happier. Now it's had a good water. that will go over the wishing well so that we can still see down it and see the beauty of the brickwork and see the water and then the plants I've just shown you will be grown around the edge on the lip just to soften that lip and the ivy that is currently in a very much a climbing position will be released from the canes and that will be tumbling down into the well um, Hopefully it will look magical. 